Welcome to the Affinity 6.0 Architectural Programming Overview. Affinity's ability to store very detailed project information and requirements, combined with its robust analysis engine, makes it particularly well suited for use with complex building projects like healthcare, research facilities, government buildings, and educational institutions. Affinity delivers tools to collect and track program information and requirements, visualize multiple scenarios in 2D and 3D schematic design, integrate with BIM and design tools, and analyze and track design to program compliance. This demo will focus specifically on the program menu within Affinity. If you've worked with previous versions of Affinity, as we enter the software you will notice that the new Affinity 6.0 has an updated look and feel as well as improved organization of menus, tools, and tabs in order to simplify the program to design process. Affinity software features three main areas, the menus on the left, window in the middle, and details pane on the right, along with additional tools, views, and settings available in the toolbar and view specific operations icons. The four main menus are program, library, design, and analysis. In this demo, I will focus on the program menu, which enables project teams to easily capture and manage project requirements, components, notes, relationships, and more. To begin working with Affinity, click on any menu on the left to view its contents. Select the section that you want to open, and then double-click any of the items to open a view of it in the middle window. The updated Affinity 6.0 window enables users to open multiple views like the full project level space program, the program for a specific group, or even an individual space where room layouts can be set prior to entering the schematic design phase. I can use the view specific icons to zoom into the space and then right click to add objects. Any objects added in this view will also create a list of items in the Components tab in the Details pane. Once the room layout is set, it will be visible when you drag and drop the space into the schematic design views. You can resize, rotate, and move objects in this view until you have the desired room layout. This is especially useful for projects that require very specific room layouts like patient rooms and suites, classrooms, or research labs. By using the View drop-down list, you can access the various view options that come standard with Affinity or any of the custom views that you may create. The View drop-down list includes the Relationships diagram, which visually and dynamically displays adjacency requirements between program items, including buildings, departments, rooms, and even rooms within different departments. You can focus in or out using these icons, which will display the different levels of the project. The top level is the highest level in your program, which may be your building or department. The next level down will show any sub-departments and spaces, and the lowest level, or most zoomed-in view, will show all of the spaces. I can easily add or delete requirements between spaces by using the right-click menu. Affinity visually alerts you with a red arrow when the relationship or adjacency requirement is not being met. Many of the view properties can be changed using the view settings icon, including the shapes of the spaces. As I scroll down, you will see there are a number of other properties available, including auto scale of room labels, grid options, and snap increments. Use the Project Details section to collect and store data, properties, requirements, and any freeform notes at the project site or building levels. There are many properties already available in Affinity, but custom properties, even more complex calculated properties, can be added to this list by editing the Affinity template. Some of the available properties include the project type, default cost per unit area, target project budget, and client contact information. Once you have multiple tabs open, you can quickly clean up the window by closing the tabular views that you are no longer working with. 
Affinity's programming tools enable project teams to capture a wide range of program data and requirements from clients and owners through several methods. Direct entry into the Affinity Space program, as I will demonstrate, import from a CSV file, or input from Affinity Flash-based questionnaires. The flexibility that Affinity delivers in the program phase ensures that new Affinity clients will experience minimal rework when transferring project data from existing spreadsheets to Affinity for the first time. It also enables project teams to electronically gather data from clients and owners and quickly add it to a new or existing Affinity project file. Program data can be added, deleted, or changed at any point in the project. You can customize any space program view by adding or removing columns via the right-click menu and rearranging and resizing them. If you want to save the views and columns, you may add it as a new view in the View drop-down list using the Add View icon. In the Program to Actual view, I can compare the schematic design to my project program and look for any discrepancies. I will add to my space program by creating a new group called Executive Suite and a new program item called Executive Assistant Office. The office will have a target requirement of three rooms at 110 square feet under target, which is like phase one, and four rooms at the same square footage under future, which is like phase two. The current columns are showing the total, which combines my target and future phases. I want to see the phases individually, so I right-click to add those columns. Now you can see my target requirement, future requirement, and the actual. An actual quantity of zero means that this space has not been placed in the schematic design layout yet. If I turn on the warnings or red alerts, I will see that discrepancy immediately and be able to correct it. All of the information in the program menu can be easily reported on in real time. Simply open the Analysis section and select the report that you want to run. Here is the Project Summary report, which lists the cost details that I entered earlier and properties that Affinity automatically calculates, including the actual cost, target project budget, and cost variance. There are also several space program reports available with different formats and the option to add your company or client's logo. All of these reports are fully customizable and this list can be added to by using the report editor. Affinity's programming tools enable project teams to add or import detailed project information, specify requirements at all levels of the project program, predefine relationships and room layouts before entering the schematic design section, and customize Affinity windows with specific views for client presentations and printing. This project knowledge will be stored in the Affinity project file and can be easily reviewed from within the Affinity desktop. It is also accessible later for continued compliance analysis when the project is moved into other BIM and design tools. Thank you for taking the time to view this programming demo. We recommend that you view the other Affinity 6.0 videos on our website that demonstrate the library design and analysis sections. For more information or to purchase Affinity, please contact us at sales at